Hey, it's been a while. I look like a quiet wannabe with this on. So I was planning on making this video, you know, in 2020, but I'll get into that later. I'm glad I can make these IRL videos now because last year's recap video was boring. Speaking of which, I like to react to last year's recap video and see what I've gotten right and wrong. Next year we'll have more video than this year did. Nope. Last year had four, this year had two. There's no one particular reason why, but as we go along I'm sure you'll notice a dozen reasons why I didn't make as much Gang Beasts videos as I probably could've. But I'll just promise 10 Gang Beasts videos this year and maybe I'll laugh at myself next year. So I want to have one game a year that is a multiplayer story driven game. Next year's story driven game will be the Avengers game coming out in May. So unexpectedly, Dying Light became the story game of the year for us. I'm actually cancelling Dying Light and Avengers is up in the air. I'll have a video about that later. We never finished Dying Light because we didn't have as much fun as we were in the beginning. Combine this with uninteresting videos and Glitch getting his PS4 hacked. We just all decided to play a game we'd rather play rather than to finish a game for the sake of finishing it. I really don't care that they don't get views, they're just so I can say I uploaded a video. While I did private these videos, I wouldn't say that they were a complete waste. While at the surface level, yeah, they were a complete waste of time that I could have used for the videos that I actually cared about. But they taught me that I shouldn't just upload anything for the sake of having an upload schedule. I'd rather upload videos that I can say I'm proud of, even if it means I skip a week or two. I really have nothing to say about my Injustice 2 videos other than they were successful for what they were. And the same can't be said for my light log videos. Those videos take so much more effort because of the fact that the Switch doesn't let me record the same way that the PS4 does. And the fact that I plan to have a topic relating to the character that I played. If they were being watched more, I'd say that they were worth the time but they just aren't. So you might be thinking, wait, we only got a couple of videos on each game this year. Won't adding more games oversaturate an already oversaturated schedule? Well, that would be true, but I'm actually going to be uploading a video every week. Okay, okay. Well, I did alright for the beginning of the year. I kind of completely failed towards the end of the year. But this isn't really a bad thing either, because if you look at the videos this year compared to last year, not only did I upload more videos, but overall, this year's videos were better than last year's. I'll have this updated every year, adding new people if anyone joins us this year. I'll have a new banner up within the next two months. I was busy this month, and more on that later. I have a certain number in mind that if I don't reach, I'll realize that this isn't for me. Oh yeah, about that. So, the mystical sub-goal I hinted at. It was 50. Besides the fact that we didn't hit 50 subs after 2 years, I think that even if we did, it really wouldn't be a big deal. I don't think I set some impossible goal. So is this the end of the channel? Heck no, this is too fun. While it does suck that I haven't really grown at all, there's just a certain feeling when you're posting up a really good video. Suspect, that wasn't even a good way to tease quitting YouTube. Oh hey Rob, cool upgrades, but what do you mean? You talked about goals for next year before trying to April Fool's everyone. You basically pulled an Infinity War, where they announced Far From Home, before dusting Spider-Man. Yeah, whatever. Go nitpick something else, you glorified toaster. And then you wonder, why you don't have subscribers. Anyways... Let's talk about Most Wanted. I wish I could've made one or two more this year, but I'll make a video saying why I couldn't later this year. With each one, I like to take inspiration from certain videos, for PewDiePie, it was the Rice Gum Content Cop, and for Jack, it was Roosevelt vs. Churchill, ERB. Hey Jack, I've noticed you rebranded your gaming channel. Wanna collab? I should have expected this. Putting myself online for everyone to see. For people to judge me on how I look and how I talk, and then comment freely underneath the video. It's obvious that someone will eventually say something that genuinely hurts. Something that hits a nerve and really makes you think about yourself in a way that you prefer not to. <laughs> in all reality, I don't dislike anyone I talk about in Most Wanted. In fact, I like Jack's videos, and I think his channel will blow up this year if he can stick to an upload schedule. Hey Jack, can you reach 2,000 subs by the end of 2021? Speaking of other channels, I recently collabed with Self Standard Programming on this video. 
Let me quickly address the fact that while well, yes, this is his Christmas special, I've made sure that my character has almost nothing to do with the holidays without breaking the plot. It's an hour long, but watch till the end as I become more important as the video goes on. Leave a like because both of us as well as a dozen others put a lot of time into it. In fact, that video and Civil War are the reason why this video is late. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about Brock. So I only make fun of Brock in these BVS videos. One, for comedic purposes, and two, because I know he can take it. We also have another joining the group soon. This year will be more experimental, but this video is already getting too long. And oh yeah, I'm taking another two month break.